Um, well, I'll mention it there, that was a fun. No, I'm just joking. No, it's not a... So in Matthew, Matthew 5, verse 13, we know the scripture that says God has called us to be salt of the earth. Um, and uh, it's incredible to see what God is doing in our midst. Um, and to be part of it, myself included, and uh, to see what God's doing. What God's doing through us, what's God doing in people's lives. He's meeting people, He's talking to people. Um, and uh, it's an incredible and honor and privilege to be able to be part of uh, this house. And uh, so in Genesis, Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. I think it's up on the wall there. Then the man said, this is Jesus with, with Jacob as he wrestles with God. He says, and the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and, and overcome. So in, in 2017, um, when was the fires? Was it 2017? It was 2017. It was a, a, a time where... Um, as a time we went through through many different things um, and uh, seeing my parents lose a house in the fire but in the midst of that if I can remember right God God spoke to 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 us myself and Ames and um, it was before in a sense when God put on the table with with leading this local house um, of Southern Gateway Church um, and you know in those moments I think we went through it ourselves is when you you say God you've called me and then the next day you're like God please knock me <laughs> that's what I felt I went through a lot of that um, where God's grace had to carry me um, and I think in the, in, the, in the midst of that in the midst of all the things that was going on I felt God speak to me and the journey kind of started if I've mentioned to if I've spoken to, to some people it's always started in 2017 our journey in a way where God kind of put us a fast forward movement towards where God is, is taking us myself and Ames and uh, at this stage Ray as well um, and so it's been amazing to see the, the different responses uh, that has come from People saying, what is the family announcement? Um, so, it's not to, to make you guess and to feel worried. Um, my parents aren't planning a church in Poland. Um, <laughs> that was one of the things. Um, we are we're not pregnant. Um, and, uh, we, uh, <laughs> um, we don't have a church building or um, yet. yet. Amen. We're really trusting that's that's uh, God is God is speaking and we trusting God for for our own house, right? Um, but it's not that either. So in 2017 um, I felt God say uh, the church that you will lead will be called salt. Um, As a leadership team, we have asked from outside, we've got input from translocal team, uh, input into this. Um, it's been a journey from, from last year, introducing it to the leadership team. It's been a, a time when we say, God, when? And uh, we kind of feel as a team that now is the time to release it. And uh, so we we believe to of changing the name from Southern Gateway Church to Salt Church, um, and I'm going to to what we believe and what God has is, is put us towards uh, the name Salt. Um, 
And first of all, I really feel like as a leadership team that we've that we've sought out God's counsel. Uh, we've sought out people other than that is in this local body um, for their input. It hasn't been just myself, but it's been a a group, a team effort um, in feeling and hearing God and waiting upon God. This hasn't been a two months thing. It's been birthed in 2017 and it has in a sense been fleshed out since uh, the end of, of last year. Um, and um, But also we see the incredible things of it in the word, the word salt. And that's where I just want to, to give this to you. And uh, I feel that the, in a sense the reason is to be more specific in direction for this next season of our togetherness. We see the scripture that, that God changes names, right? We see it in, in His Word. We are not, in a sense, Southern Gateway. We have put a name to it, we're not salt, we are His people. That's number one, we are His. We are not owned by salt, so we're not owned by Southern Gateway Church. It's just the name. But in, in the book, as we see in Scripture, we begin to see how God uses names. And uh, specifically in bringing a more specific and more direction to where He wants to lead. And so we see it, especially in these two, in Abraham. Remember Abraham? God changed it to Abraham. To Sarai, if I said it right, to Sarah. And the difference is that we see Abram is a was called a high father. To Abraham, which means father of nations. To Sarai, to Sarah, which means mother of nations. So we see God's in a sense where God was leading uh, Abraham and Sarah was a father and a mother of nations. And I feel, and as a team, we feel God has called us to be people of salt. His salt to the world. It kind of puts us more in a direction, a specific direction that God is calling us for a season. But when we look at salt in the Old Testament, uh, we read it in, in Exodus. Exodus 30 verse, verse 35. And this was building the, the altar of, of, of incense, our, our, our sacrifices unto the Lord. And it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum resin, there's all these different things, pure frankincense. Um, I've, has anyone smelled frankincense? It's potent. So when we, I'll tell the story. When we're in Uganda, Uganda, so like Ethiopia, the way they do, they celebrate they like the tradition of every day is they come together up and they make coffee, and they they do the beans and their coffee and they have literally every day they fellowship around coffee. And one of the things is they have popcorn and they have frankincense to be burnt. And um, they did it for us in the church. And it was so potent. It was like, it's hectic. It, 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 it's beautiful. And uh, Richard Preston from Storehouse, he, he wasn't, it's not his favorite smell. <laughs> so myself and Anton decided, no, no, listen, we've got to get this guy. And so what we did was he was talking to this lady, showing his pictures of, of his grandchildren. And so we moved the, the bowl right next to underneath his feet, underneath his chair. And so there was Richard standing and speaking. The smoke was just coming. You see, he was completely confused at the smell of frankincense, but it's, it's potent. It's like, it's a small little, like an, almost a granular, it looks like in a sense salt. And you put it on the coals and it just, it just fills the room. You don't need like piles. It's just like a small amount. 
But anyway, make a fragrant blend of incense. And this is for to bring offering towards the Lord. Uh, the work of perfumer, and here it is, is to be salted and pure and sacred. And so here we see salt is being used to create incense. It's one of the main ingredients that we see in the incense unto the Lord in the temple is salt. And we are gods that fragrance towards Him, number one, firstly. But just like frankincense, it's a fragrance to people around us. Not only was that that salt was cast on burnt offerings as they offered, as they went before the Lord and they brought their offerings, um, salt was cast on. We see that as part of the temple, uh, salt was used. And Sue brought this at one of our leadership times together. We in Ezra 7, verse 22, it says, it lists all these certain, like very specific things that we need to have in the house. And it says, up to a hundred talents of silver, a hundred cores of wheat, a hundred bars of wine, a hundred bars of olive oil, and salt without limits. That God has called us a total devotion to Him. Like without measure. That we bring as a people that we give ourselves to Him without limit. No. That God has called you to be a people to give yourselves to Him fully. That is in the word salt. We see it in the, in the New Testament. In Matthew 5 where it speaks about the salt and the light. That God has called us to be salt. But the incredible thing about salt is that it needs, it salt spreads. Right? It spreads. So God has called us not only to, to congregate but also to, to spread. That we are the salt of the earth. We are God's salt to the world. In Colossians 4 verse 6 it says, let your conversations always be full of grace seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone. That God, the kingdom that, that we carry, the kingdom of God that we has instilled inside of us through the, the, the death of Jesus and the resurrection of Him, the message that we carry as a church, as a believer, as you, may it be full of salt. That we, when we go out, we won't be a people that are tasteless to the world. That what we have, not what we in a sense have, but it's the, the, the message that we have is full of salt. It brings flavor, it preserves, you see in scripture, there's incredible the use of salt for friendship, for a covenant of friendship. Hey, Jaja. <laughs> the, the, the message that we carry will be full of salt. And this is coming back to, to this. It's not for the sake of changing a name. In Haggai, it speaks, Haggai 2 verse 5, This is what I have covenant to you that came in out of Egypt. My spirit will remain among you. Do not fear. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I'll once more shake the heavens and the earth, the seas and the dry land. I will shake all nations. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord God Almighty. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The Lord, the glory of the present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord God Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. So God is calling us as we build this house. That his glory will fill it. That's our goal. We're not here to, to for the glory of man or the glory of uh, making 
us famous, we go to make him famous. And it's when his glory falls, it touches nations, it touches lives. When people, as Dan prayed this morning um, and brought the word about the cloud, it's like in this place will there be many clouds where people can come in because of the glory of God and see hope. Not in us, not in the way we do things, not in, in a sense sometimes, can I say, we, the, the, the pattern of who we are, but in, in the fact that the person of Jesus, His glory is with us. It's Him. And we want to reflect Him as people of salt. So that is the, the family news. It is going to be, you can imagine, like Abraham. And well, he was Abraham. All of a sudden, his mates still call him Abraham. And he's like, no, I'm Abraham. <laughs> there will be a season where we are fleshing this out as a community. Um, there will be most emotions. There will be things that we as a people um, will go through. But at the end of the day, it's what God is calling us to go in as a people. God has called us to be salt. A people of salt. His salt. And to touch uh, the world that is, is around us. And so we spent a lot of time with, with our good friend JP. There he is at the back. He's got Joe. I uh, just want to honor him. And uh, he's um, unfortunately had to work with me and Amy in uh, trying to, to come up with uh, a logo. And uh, we felt just a lot of peace with the, the one that we have now. And uh, as you can see there, Victor, don't go too quickly. Okay, as you can see there, it's the house that we feel God has, if you can in a sense hear the see the you know like i preached about people of self it's drip feeding <laughs> but we see the house that god's called us to build his house it's his house it's not my house this is his church it's not my church you guys owe me nothing i owe you nothing but we owe everything to him his house and we are building his house as we believe those five houses that uh, a house of worship, uh, a house of prayer, a house of belonging, a house of reconciliation, and a generous house. That we feel as a as a team, as a church, that God has called us to build. There are many different things that we can build into, but at the moment this is where God has put us. And those lives represent uh, salt and many other things. Um, and if you think about salt, it's, it's always that salt, if it's, it's a pile of salt, where it says where it congregates, when you pour salt, but as soon as you spread it, it begins to form a pattern. And uh, God has called us not to the sense just to congregate, it's not just about us. Yes, it is. But it's also about when we begin to, His hand begins to come through the salt, it begins to form these incredible patterns. I see in this house with those lives that it's that it's we have a creative element then for me it speaks about the prophetic it speaks about the supernatural um, it speaks about us as a people that we will belong some of those lives are straight some of them are curved some of them are curved the other way but we belong together each one of us we bring in our creativeness, we bring in who we are. Some of us might be this great. Some of us might be very creative and arty, but under one house, we bring so that His glory may fill His house. So that the, 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 it gives a nice a picture of, of, uh, of worship, um, of prayer, um, a generous house, a belonging house, and a house of reconciliation that it spreads uh, to, to places around us. So you go to the next one. Church. <laughs>